Hey guys, good evening. It is uh, just past 12.30 a.m. on Saturday night, so I guess Sunday morning technically. I'm here at home. And that beautiful set of sparkling lights that you're looking at right now uh, is the American Spirit arriving here in Sault Ste. Marie tonight. She is taking her time uh, because... We have another ship in the locks at the moment. Uh, the Arthur Anderson actually is here in town and they are just leaving the lock now, heading downbound. So they'll cross paths in the harbor. The Spirit is heading upbound, so she's just coming out from behind Sugar Island right now and that bright white light on the water is the Sugar Island ferry that she's passing here. She's approaching Mission Point, we'll make the turn here, although it won't look like it from where I am. And she'll head into the harbor and pass the Anderson and head into the Pollock without anybody else around. It's a perfect time to be here. I really wanted to get this tonight. I have not done a, a nighttime video of the Spirit all season and it's so quiet and peaceful here right now. And that reflection on the water is always what I look forward to in these videos. So. I knew she would be lit up really beautifully. Captain Boyd is aboard right now. I believe uh, Chief Sufak is on board as well. So a big hello to both of them. And obviously safe sailing all the way across Superior. They are on their way to two harbors today. Um, second last load temporarily for them. They are going two harbors to Gary. And then after that, they'll go back up to Two Harbors one more time, and then they're going to go down to Conneaut, offload there, and then hop, skip, and a jump away to Toledo, and they're going to lay up temporarily. So they've got this load and one more after that, and then they are going to go in for a little while. Hopefully not too long. Let's see what happens when I zoom in here. There we go. That's pretty cool. Passing the Sugar Island Ferry right there. That's looking pretty neat. I love how quiet it is at this hour. The spirit comes in at a thousand and four feet in length, so she's a little longer than some of the thousand footers out there. She's the same length as uh, the Masabi Miner and the James R. Barker, which makes her the second longest ship on the lakes with those two others right in behind the Paul R. She's also what's referred to as a sister ship in design to the Paul R. So Unlike a lot of the other ASC ships that have the wings outside of the bridge of the pilot house, her superstructure, if you take a look at it, and actually the design of the ship itself, is very, very similar to the Tregurtha. Right down to the accommodations where they are, um, all of those things. 
in being on the spirit for a week, you you do get used to it very quickly where everything is and how you get there. And then last August, when I had the opportunity to go aboard the Tregartha in Monroe, it was almost a very eerie feeling because I was walking around and I thought, wow, this is almost exactly like the spirit. So they are very, very similar in that sense. They may not be fleet mates, but they are still sister designs in many ways. She started to tuck in behind the trees on the right side of the screen. It's hard to tell that at this time of year we don't have any leaves here yet, so lucky for us we still get to see her. I'll zoom in again here a little bit. I like the way the lights there are kind of shimmering off the water. So she's well into the turn now and is actually pretty much in the harbor at this point. She'll continue forward and pass the Anderson who will be coming by soon. I might as well take a video of them after. Have that as well. So as I say they're going up to two harbors. They'll come down to Gary, Indiana and then they'll go up one more time back to two harbors again to load for Conneaut this time. Make that final trip down to Conneaut offload there and then head back west a little bit to Toledo and they will lay up temporarily after that. So, I will certainly look forward to seeing them again. I always enjoy seeing this ship every time she's in town. I love how it looks when they go behind the trees too. So off she goes. Hopefully you're all having a great evening, although I won't be posting this until the morning, so. There she goes. And we'll look for her on the return trip, maybe in some daylight. And I can head out to Point Louise and catch them out there before they even get into town. Maybe go live or something. Anyway. Hope you're all staying safe, having a great weekend. I will post this in the morning and um, anything else that I come across that's exciting and fun that I think you'll find interesting. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe, take care, and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.